Most of the people you hear branded white supremacist would vehemently disagree with the term, but not one English graduate lecturer at Virginia Tech. Mark Daniel Newhoff says he's a white supremacist, explaining that he believes, quote, that culture comes from race, that America is culturally Western, and that Western culture comes from whites or Europeans. He states, quote, it is crucial that if we want America to remain a Western country, its leaders and culture producers remain whites. Categorically, no other race can do it. Quote, one million might be a tad too many dead Jews, but that's splitting hairs, said Newhoff in response to an article from a white nationalist site asserting that the U.S. should have sided with Germany in World War II to defeat the USSR instead of vice versa. The article claimed that one million Jews died in the Holocaust, as opposed to six million. In another post, the graduate TA stated that, quote, it is physically impossible that Zyklon B gas was employed as a killing agent in the alleged gas chamber. He also thinks that if Jews were to be physically identified once again, quote, blacks would be able to spot their oppressor and much of the racial conflict between blacks and whites would end. Tim Jode, a member of the New River Against Fascism activist group, which published screenshots of Newhoff's alleged remarks, told the Washington Post that their goal is not to get people fired, rather it is to take away the individual's platforms to spread certain ideas. The two seem to be the same, at least in Newhoff's case. A petition to remove Newhoff from his position at Virginia Tech has garnered nearly 4,300 signatures, but Virginia Tech has not yet fired the graduate instructor. Quote, Virginia Tech is not able to comment on this matter in accordance with federal privacy laws, said Mark Alzarski in an email to Campus Unmasked. He went on to say that the school embraces free speech, noting that, quote, Anytime a member of our community believes that free speech crosses the line and becomes threatening or hate speech, the university has several long-standing and robust practices and protocols to review, and if required, to take action to protect those affected and address the harmful behavior. Newhoff has decided not to teach classes during the spring 2018 semester, ironically telling the Washington Post that he's, quote, tired of the hateful mob that wants to crucify people. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock.